Hi, this is Ray from Tightrope Media Systems. I'm one of the developers on Cablecast, and in this video we're going to go over what's new in Cablecast 5.4. So in Cablecast 5.4 we added uh, support for GPI triggers, independent encode and decode resolutions on your SX servers, genlock timing on your SX servers, enhanced MPEG-2 compatibility and IP control for leech routers. So let's dive right in and take a look at the GPI features. So we've added support um, for the OnTrack ADR2200, which is a general purpose serial controlled uh, relay controller. So we added support to set, clear, and pulse these individual relays. We can also use um, the GPI devices as a fade CMS. And this is, allows us to uh, uh, trigger an external device like a uh, Ross MC1 master control switcher to fade to black um, in between uh, every switch. So when a program ends, it will fade to black, and when the next program begins, it will fade up from black. And this is really great for highly customized channel branding. You can use GPIs to trigger things like logo insertion, fade to black, uh, squeeze backs, all using um, a wide variety of uh, uh, hardware like the Ross MC1. So let's dive into Cablecast and see how we would schedule GPI events in the Cablecast schedule. So in Cablecast, I'm going to go into the schedule. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, see that I already have two GPI events scheduled. So at 2 a.m., I'm going to turn an on-air light on, and at 4 a.m., I'm going to turn that light off. And so if I click into an event, I can see how they're set up. Basically, I just choose a device like the on-air light, and I, I set an action. And I have actions to set the GPI, clear the GPI, or pulse the GPI. So by setting the GPI, I'm going to turn the light off and then to turn the light on, and then to turn the light off, I'm going to clear that GPI. To create a new event, like say we want to do a squeeze back at 3 a.m., we're just going to go ahead and click New, choose Manual Runs, and now we'll have this new event. We can update the time or drag it around just like we would any other schedule event, and now we can click into it to edit the event. So let's say squeeze back, and then I'm going to give it an action of Pulse GPI. And that's how you would create a GPI event in your schedule. Now you do need to have additional hardware, such as a Ross MC1, to actually do the squeeze backs or fade to blacks. But now it's really easy to control those uh, devices from your schedule in Cablecast. So the next thing we did in Cablecast 5.4 is we added independent encode and decode resolutions for your SX server and also gave you the ability to uh, adjust your genlock timing. So let's go into Cablecast and see how that works. So from the desktop of your SX server, you can load the SX configuration app. And you can see that we have um, changed the dropdown where you traditionally set your resolution and gave you um, a, a button to edit it. And now when you edit those, you can choose a different playback resolution than record resolution. And this is really great for people that have um, HD studios now, but are still broadcasting in SD. As you can see here, we chose a uh, 480i playback resolution for our ser server, but we're encoding in 1080i. So we can record an HD signal directly from our HD studios or uh, other feeds, and then we can still broadcast in 480i. And when we uh, are ready to, we can switch to a 1080i output and everything will just work. We'll be broadcasting in HD. Um, it's smart enough to know to not let you pick incompatible resolutions. So for example, if I pick 720p here, uh, I only get the ability to uh, record in 720p. If I want to uh, play back in 1080i, I get the ability to code in, to uh, record in 480i or 1080i. But the most common use case we think people will do is uh, playback in 4DI because they still have SD channels, but want to record in 1080i from their uh, HD studios. The other thing we added in Cablecast 5.4 was the ability to uh, adjust the timing, the genlock timing of your server. Um, especially important in uh, modern HD systems, uh, you really want to get the timing of your system right. So um, if you have external genlock, you'll, you'll see um, that it's locked, and when that's uh, available, you can adjust the timing. Now this would normally be done when the system is first uh, commissioned and be done by someone that has the appropriate equipment to get the timing adjustments needed to make sure your server is in sync with uh, the rest of the equipment on your system. 
So the last few things in uh, Cablecast 5.4, we can't really demo uh, in, this, in this screencast, but we did uh, improve MPEG-2 compatibility, especially for people coming from systems that record uh, program streams, such as Synergy uh, systems. So we can now um, play those files back accurately, and uh, it should uh, improve compatibility for anyone who's uh, playing MPEG-2 files, which is most people. We also added IP control for our Leech router CM. So if you're using a uh, routing switcher that is controlled by uh, using the Leech ASCII protocol, you can now control that using uh, IP instead of a serial cable. Um, this shouldn't change things for most people, but it's good for, uh, for new customers that are buying new routers that might not have serial control anymore. So um, you now have the ability to control your Leech router via IP instead of serial. So that's uh, everything in Cablecast 5.4. Um, contact your, uh, your dealer or your sales representative to get an update. Um, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.